Can you power your home with lawn clippings? Your pacemaker has a reason to make sure your heart keeps beating. Swap something you have with the help of a vending machine. A solar car goes around the world. A virus turns coffee into warmer sports clothing. And if you have a tugboat in space, what should you run it on? Solar, of course. <laughs> All on this week's Green Jack Weekly! Thanks for joining us again on show number 22 for all the green tech news with a splash of comedy. Resident MIT smart guy Andreas Merchant. MIT makes all the greatest green tech. Hmm, you're right. It looks like MIT has been up to something again. MIT has come up with a way. This concept car from MIT has been. Anyway, he wants to bring inexpensive solar power to developing countries. His team at MIT's Center for Bits and Atoms teamed up with the University of Tennessee biochemist Barry Bruce and starting to use alchemy to make solar panels from lawn clippings. Nico, you know that's not what they're doing, right? Well, they might as well be, because they have all but come up with a process that extracts functional photosynthetic molecules from common yard and agricultural waste. The next step will be to take the lawn waste and create a way to mix it with a few easily available chemicals and then add it to a paint so then it can be painted on a house to produce electricity. One of the drawbacks is how to keep the light gathering molecules working outside of their cells. A test solar cell has already been put to work and can produce 0.1% efficiency. That may not be much, but it is a start in the right direction. In this second story, aerospace engineers from the University of Michigan have created a prototype energy harvester that can actually use the vibrations of your chest to charge it. And as we all know, most of the vibrations in the chest are from the heart beating. The idea is to swap out the sometime radioactive battery in a common pacemaker and use the beating of the heart to run the device. They use a piezoelectric material to generate more than eight times the energy needed to keep the pacemaker going, so nothing to worry about there. They also stated that because it only needs about one millionth of a watt to run, the device will charge with beats as low as seven per minute all the way up to 700 per minute. This next story brings free cycle into the modern age by using vending machines. Brooklyn designer Lena Finiquito has built a one-of-a-kind vending machine that lets users swap old items by using a point system for deposits or they can be swapped one for one with no points used. The system needs your email address to get started so there is some ability to punish the people who might abuse it. The idea here is more of a statement for now. The single machine has been moved from one area to another in New York City boroughs with plans to someday have them across America. Ooh, I have so many things that I can swap out. I wonder if there's a limit. Not that I can see. Awesome. On a larger scale, the idea of the swap matic is as Lena hopes that communities will start to shy away from a more disposable society and work their way back to a community that reuses and shares things in order to make them last longer, and passing this idea on to the rest of society. Up next, we have an update to a story that we didn't talk about last October. Eka, what are you talking about? Well, let me explain. Last October, the Solar World GT solar-powered car started down under in Darwin, Australia, navigating the 1,865-mile stretch across the country and then traveled to New Zealand to add another 1,200 miles there. But as of last Friday, they're here in the U.S. starting at the University of California, Santa Barbara. Yeah, why didn't we do a story on this back then? I don't know, but now that we know about it, we apologize for missing this cool green tech story. The project is by Basham University of Applied Science in Germany and the solar panel manufacturer Solar World. The cool looking two seater has a peak performance of 823 watts with a custom hub motors located in the front wheels doing all the work. That looks like a car from Back to the Future 2. Hey, you're right. Now I need to make it fly. For our fifth story, California-based sports clothing company Virus has a new line called Stay Warm. That is a really original name. Coffee grounds are made into what's called coffee char or coffee charcoal. Another amazing and unique name. According to the company's test, the garment's heat trap increases the surface temp by 10 degrees. And there's a laundry list of bonuses, such as it wicks away your sweat, it has UV shielding, and it has anti-odor properties. Instead, you'll smell like a double espresso latte. Latte, latte. Mmm, latte. Latte, latte, latte. Last 
Last up, NASA has been working on a high power solar electric propulsion or SEP. The SEP? The SEP can be used in space tugboats. The idea is to ferry payloads in low earth orbit or LEO up to higher energy orbits or HEO including geosynchronous earth orbit or GEO. And Lagrange point one, that's L1 for the NASA buffs out there watching. This will help with saving on fuel and expensive secondary boosters. In the future, it could also be used to propel spacecrafts into deep space. Wait, 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 I think I got it. Okay, what do you mean? I mean this. NASA has a SEP using its solar tugboat to move things to LEO up to HEO and GEO and L1. <laughs> okay. That's another show. For all the links to this week's stories or all of the ways that you can follow us on social sites, head over to greentechweekly.tv. You can always subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking here, hit the like button to show us the green love, and as always, remember to rethink it green. Rethink it green! Rethink it green! <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I'm gonna get you cans. I'm gonna get you cans. Sir, I hate litter. I hate litter. Recycle, don't litter. Recycle. Dang it.